What is going on guys, AYB back in the building. Today I'm bringing you an NU match, day 4 of daily uploads. Let's get it going. It's against Rupee from Twitter. Uh, he had a really cool team. I wanted to try this team that I've been playing with on the ladder and uh, let's get right into it. He's going to lead off with a Torkoal while I lead off with um, my Dragology. Now Dragology, people don't say it has a good move pool, but it gets Hydro Pump, it gets Thunderbolt, it gets Dragon Pulse, it gets uh, Sledge Bomb, so I think it's pretty good. I go for the Hydro Pump just to knock this Torkoal out, but it lives at like what, 3 HP once again? That's not, that's a little less than that, it's probably like 2-1, it's so low. And he gets his rocks up, which sucks. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb because I know uh, he's probably going to end up switching out. Or if he stays in, that's going to be a dead Torkoal. Either way, win-win situation. His Licky Licky comes out here. I'm going to stay in. I don't know what, what kind of uh, set this is. Um, as he gets the Crit Para. Crit Para. Uh, and in return, I get the Poison Point. But Crit Para, not cool. Not happy. Uh, Dragology slow as hell as it is. But the chance that I might get paralyzed, uh, that drives me nuts. But... You know what? Whatever. I'm gonna switch out because uh, I'm gonna go to Donnie. I'm not gonna take these uh, these body slams all day long. As he goes for the heal bell, so that shows me that he's the cleric set. I think most are uh, nowadays. I'm not really sure, but this one is definitely the cleric set. So he probably has like wish, heal bell, toxic, and uh, body slam. He's gonna switch out as uh, I figure there's a good chance to get my rocks up uh, because he really can't touch me in any sense of the word. And uh, he brings back that Torkoal, which is a good play. So now I know he's going to probably end up rapid spinning. I looked up the speed ties. Uh, I mean, speeds of both these Pokemon. Torkoal actually outspeeds Bastiodon by two, which uh, that that made me sad because Torkoal, I thought it was like the slowest thing in the world. But surprise, there is one slower than that. So that's Bastiodon. I get the poison point to activate, uh, so I switch out, uh, hoping uh, he'll hit me with a rapid spin and I get it to activate, and luckily it did, but also because uh, he really can't touch me with a lava plume if he wanted to go for it, so it was just in my best interest. I go for the sludge bomb, hoping that he'll go back into the licky licky, or he'll feel just stay in and let that Torkoal die, but no, this Torkoal is just playing with me, and there's that paralyzed I was talking about. It's not like it really mattered because sludge bomb was not going to kill at that range, but I could have had another chance of getting poison on the Licky Licky, which is always a good thing. It would have forced him to go for a Heal Bell, and, um, and it, I guess it's okay because I do get the poison the next turn, but this Licky Licky is so bulky, it's so annoying. He's going to be just switching out back and forth, back and forth. He hasn't hit me with an attack yet, so I figured, you know what? This is the best chance I'll get. Best chance I'll get to bring your Primeape as he goes for the Body Slam. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, XP? Uh... Damn, and it took out so much of Prime Ape's help. I figured, you know what, as long as I don't get paralyzed, because I am Scarf Prime Ape, and I don't, luckily. And I'm going to go for the U-turn, and this Torkoal comes back in, and it's still alive. This Torkoal will not go down by any means necessary. It will not. It'll stay here all day until Zangoose here comes in. Zangoose just, ooh, Zangoose so tough. He's just looking there like, yo, you want some of this? You want some of this? And he's about to get this facade right to the face, and there goes Torkoal. And uh, Zangoose is like one of my favorite Pokemon in NU uh, with Toxic Orb, uh, Quick Attack, Facade, all, all that good stuff. Just a fun, fun Pokemon. I don't want to get Leaf Storms uh, at all because Zangoose is so frail. So I'm going to go into my Altaria that has the Cloud 9 ability, which I need to get fixed uh, ASAP. As it goes for the Reflect, so it looks like this is probably uh, the Reflect, Light Screen, Leech Seed maybe. Uh, it's, it's an annoying set. But uh, it's here to stay. As I go for the heal bell, which is probably the worst play I could have gone for. I should have definitely went for toxic. And I say that because, yes, it healed my Dragology. But it cured my Zangus of its poison. And I need that poison. And you'll see later on what I'm talking about. As I go for the Dragon Pulse on the Switch, I just wanted to get some damage on it as he brings in the Gorbis. Now, Gorbis, uh, properly named Shelly, because they all Shell Smash is gonna do some work to my team and I have to kind of play around it. I go for Toxic and I noticed that after he went for Shell Smash, he did not have the White Herb, so he's probably the Life Orb set, which is gonna be packing more power, which is not what I want, but also it's kinda good because Poison plus Life Orb means that this thing will go down pretty fast. I'm gonna predict the Ice Beam here and go into Bastiodon as he goes for it and Bastiodon takes this pretty, pretty well and uh, I'm gonna end up just kinda playing mind games here just to you know, dwindle that HP down as much as I can before I can bring in something and just knock it out. And uh, he's already at half, which is great. I'm going to predict the Surf here and just kind of also sack my Dragology. And um, 
I, you know, I didn't want Altaria to take any unnecessary hits. Dragology is slow as it is, and uh, it was at low HP, so I figured, you know what, it's time to go, and uh, that's just how it had to go. Uh, he's losing a lot of HP, which is great, but this is what I'm talking about right here. I, I have Zangus out here. He still has the Reflect up, but Quick Attack, that stab right there, uh, almost killed it. Almost. So I lose my Zangus, but luckily for me, his uh, Gorbis here goes down as well. So now to double down, I'm going to bring in Usain Bolt, the Selgor here, so fast, so fast, so powerful, as he's bringing us a Viper. He doesn't want to take a Bug Buzz. I'm going to go for it. It's a safe play. It's going to hit everything on his team pretty good as he brings in the Licky Licky. And uh, Bug Buzz does a good chunk. I do get the crit, but I don't think it mattered whatsoever because he can't take two. And that's exactly what's going to happen, especially because he's poisoned as well. There's no way he's going to take two. So the only way it really affected is that I didn't take another life orb recoil. As he brings in the sock and he misses the stone edge. But that is the game that you play for powerful attacks with low accuracy. So it's unfortunate he misses. I'm going to switch out and take, uh, you know, capitalize on this and go into Bastiodon because Bastiodon loves stone edges. That's one Pokemon that loves stone edges. And he takes that so well, so well. And um, here he kind of has to switch out because uh, he's scarfed. Most socks are, uh, most socks are, <laughs> they're all scarfed. As I go for the stealth rocks, because I know this Swoobat is still here, so if he's going to be switching around, I want to get him uh, with some stealth rock damage. I know all Swoobats either Calm Mind or Substitute. That definitely has not changed in any generation. As I go for the Roar and I bring out the sock here, so I'm going to predict the close combat which is kind of what he's forced to go for because he's kind of being put into a corner especially after losing Gorbis so I'm gonna go into my Altaria here and uh, this close combat yeah I take it pretty well could have taken a little bit better but that's perfectly fine as he gets the defense drops I know I could take another one so that's perfectly fine by me he's gonna have to switch out he's gonna get hit with a, either uh, um, a dragon pulse or something like that uh, but he switches that to a Viper and uh, that's a Viper Superior what am I saying as I go for the Dragon Pulse just to get some damage on it I didn't think he would want a second but the better play would have been just to go for the toxic as he goes for the light screen here and he's gonna put up these these screens once again and he probably has the light clay so they're gonna last longer um, yeah the last one lasted longer so yeah he definitely has a light clay as I go for the toxic here I'm gonna predict the reflect and go into Primeape, um, I mean sorry, a Selgor, as he switches out it goes into Swoobat, which is actually a good play on his end, because he could have easily one on one my Altaria, because I had Toxic and Dragon Pulse and he's faster, so he would have set up the sub and the light screen was up, so that was a really good play on his end, didn't really work out for him because I brought out the Acelagor and I went for the Bug Buzz and just knocked that out. I'm going to sack Acelagor here, see what he wants to lock himself into. He goes for the close combat, which, you know, is uh, is a good move because it's going to hurt everything on my team. As I bring in the Primate, the Primate pretty much cleans up the game because I am Scarfed and I outspeed the Sock. I outspeed uh, the Superior that's poisoned. He's not going to be able to take two. Nonetheless, I don't think he can take one, so that's that. That's happening. And there goes the Superior, and Sock is going to go down to close combat as well. So that is today's game, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Until tomorrow, I will check you guys out. Um, or check me out, I guess. Uh, as always, special shoutouts to 3HP and Etika Network for always helping me out. Team AYB all day, every day. Two times on Sunday. Until tomorrow, take care, guys.